Greetings. Eternal salvation died for you. And God says, Fear not, for I am near you. She says, I immediately got alarmed. Who said this? He says, God said it. I shall clothe thee in a white gown, and I will make you pure in eternal Savior's presence. She explains, He was allowed by God to give me a special purification. Later on, allowing me to see my sins with God Almighty's eyes. He says, Praise the Lord, Daniel. Now, last night, coming back from a dinner, I went up the stairs and a great odor of incense penetrated my nose again. I understood. He says, Daughter of the King, when you smell incense, it is I, eternal salvation, the anointed king. I wish you to feel my presence, daughter of the king. I love you to distraction and beyond measure. Alas, this love which overflows my heart, this ardent flame of love, burning, is so little understood. So few come to draw from it. So few. She says, Savior, many people don't know how to approach you. I'm so sure of that. He says, they can come and talk to me. I hear them. I can enjoy for hours any conversation. It brings me so much joy when they would count me among their friends. She says, last night, a man told me that all women desire to be Magdalene's. He says, lo, not all. She says, well, those that love you probably do then. God says, I want them to. She says, Savior, I think we will have to rush. He says, where to? Downstairs, check the oven. God says, come then, let us go. She says, Savior, when before your approach, I heard of you like a myth. I never realized how you are real. In my eyes, you were so far away, a story in a book. He says, I know, daughter of the king. I know, for many, I am still a myth. Find me in Gethsemane next time we meet. I will reveal to you my anguishes, my sufferings and fears of that night. Come allow me to rest in you, daughter. The next day, come find me where I have told you. O oh, Gethsemane, what have you to unfold but fears, anguishes, betrayals, and abandonments? Gethsemane, you have depleted men from courage. You have suspended your still air, my agonies for all eternity. Gethsemane, what have you to declare that was undeclared? You have witnessed in the stillness of holiness the betrayal of your God Almighty. You have witnessed me. The hour had come. Scriptures were to be fulfilled. Daughter, I know that many souls believe in me as though I was but a myth. They believe that I existed only in the past. For many, I am but a passing shadow now eclipsed with time and evolution. Very few realize that I existed in flesh on earth and exist now among you. I am all what came to pass and is to pass. I know their fears. I know their anguishes. I know their weaknesses. Have I not witnessed all these frailties in Gethsemane? Daughter, son, when love prayed in Gethsemane, a thousand devils were shaken. Fearing demons took flight. The hour had come. Love was glorifying love. Oh, Gethsemane, witness of the betrayed. Witness of the forlorn. Arise, witness, and testify. Daughter, praise thee, I am who I am. Judas betrayed me. But how many more like praise Yahweh? Judas are betraying me still. I knew instantly this kiss would spread among many, and for generations to come, the same kiss would be given to me over and over again, renewing my sorrow, rending my heart. Daughter of the king, Come, let me be consoled. Let me rest in your heart. And then the next.
Sciences on Panormiti Island. Daughter of the King of my sacred heart, write, peace be with you. In me, you'll live. So delight in my presence. This means in the Eucharist. Let your soul be refreshed in my presence. Come and listen to my heart's desires. For the sake of the love I have for you both, Father, she says, Father O'Carroll and I, she explains that. He says, are you still willing to follow in my stride? Are you willing to sacrifice your time for my interests? Are you ready to crown my plan with success so that all heaven with joy hails my victory? Are you willing to respond to my needs with fervor and anxiety to please me, your savior? This means, she explains, part of his plan is true life in God. Messages of salvation. Yes. He said, the Lord says, if you allow me to use you, I will invest your soul with my divinity, with my splendor, with my seal. He says, we have only a mile to go, my friends, only a mile longer. He continues, I have asked you, asked for your time and you have given it to me. I have asked for your life and you have so generously offered it to me. And she explains, eternal savior in saying this was very touched. I understood his emotion from the tone of his voice and the slight shake of his head. Then he continues, I have girded you with my strength to go forward with my message. And you have for this, I will continue to make your adversaries retreat before you. Have you been scathed by anyone? Oh, if you only knew how many demons have fled by the very sight of my light. And she explains, eternal salvation. Stopped for a few seconds and looked at me with very grave eyes and told me that what followed very gravely. I have given you my light. I promise you that I will not desert you. Be constant in your prayers. And let your lips repeat all that I have given you. Renew your vows of faithfulness to me. And I will give you enough strength to follow me. And continue to consolidate my charge. Eternal salvation is my name. And I bless you. I love you. Love me. Then she says just a few seconds after. The Father Almighty spoke. Daughter of the King. Elevate your soul to me. It is I. The I am forever the same. Your king is speaking. Bless my holy name and you shall live. Daughter, son, many will, many still flock around apostasy. Am I to remain silent? Today again, I descend in my saving help. And in the middle of their rebellion, I cry out salvation. Salvation comes from me. The earth is pining away in its apostasy, consumed in its iniquity, and its inhabitants are paying the penalty of its sins, famines, earthquakes, and wars. Whatever comes out of the earth returns back to earth. Cross, daughter, with me in this desert. I am is with you. Stay cheerful and in peace, for I am with you. She says, have you something to tell so-and-so, Lord? He says, for him... Tell him, it is by faith that I led you into my redemptive plans. It will be by faith you will continue. I have put you to the test and I tell you, I know your activities, your love and the childlike faith. Nevertheless, I have one complaint. I've given you strength and perseverance to help you. And he doesn't say the rest to keep it all private for this person. God Almighty was delicate not to write a few words for exposing this person. Yet how I wish you would consume it entirely. I have opened my mouth. And I have spoken. Come, if you love listening, you will learn. I, who am eternally the same, give you the seal of my eternal love. And now, continuing on.
Doctor of the King, nothing lasts where you are. But where I live, all lasts forever. Forever. Glory be to God for, for bringing you closer to himself. I am, thy am loves you. Live in peace. Lean on the I am who I am. For the I am that I am restores. Give glory to him. And then God says, peace to all. Peace to all beings on earth. This last line was from God Almighty. Now, the next thing. Daughter of the King, we write, yes, eternal Savior, if it's what you wish. He says, love me, daughter, in my torment of Gethsemane. I was deceived by one of my own, one of my beloved ones, and today I still receive indignities, recollecting my agonies of the past. My heart swelled and filled with bitterness. She says, I had problems and I lacked confidence to continue. Suddenly, Savior? He says, I am, little one, right. My sweat of agony poured out on me like big drops of blood. She says, I suddenly thought of the time I was almost tempted by the evil spirit and felt ashamed. He says, weakness attracts me, for I can give you my strength. Come bring me your love. Lean on me. She leaned. Yes. Eternal Savior's glad. Here, eat from me. Fill your heart from my heart. Love me. Think of me. Be mine. Entirely mine. Adore me. And me only. I am calling you to receive me. Yes, in the little white host. Come and drink me. Purify. I love you and I will see that you receive me. Do not deny me ever. Desire me and me only. I will be waiting for you at the tabernacle. You'll see me like I have taught you with the eyes of your soul. Then she says, Eternal Savior, it's my fault to have interrupted you. Do you wish to continue? He says, I do. Hear me. The soul absorbed those drops, but today the soul rather than ever needs irrigation. It desires peace and is thirsty for love. Suddenly, Almighty Savior stopped. Grieve me not, but we will pray again with me. Love me, daughter of the king. Come. The prayer he gives her is, O oh, Father, Almighty, fulfill what must be fulfilled. May your words penetrate, bless and purify the hearts of your children. Father, Almighty, do as your heart desires. May your will be done. Amen. And he says, are you willing to continue working for me? She says, I will continue working for God Almighty. If it's his will to do so, it is, it is my will. Then I'll continue working. Do not, for, do not forget my incapacity, though. He says, lean entirely on me, your unlimited salvation. I know how helpless you are. I wanted to have but a mere child who would have to depend entirely on me. And she says, Savior? He says, I am. Is your message of Gethsemane finished? He says, no, I will continue. My children have to be revived and shown that I am among them with my message which I blessed, they would see me and feel me. Many will return to me, I who long for my beloved ones. She says, Savior, how can I do anything? She says, Daughter of the King, will Father not help his child cross the road when it needs his help? So I will help you till the end. She says, I don't know if I'm doing right by distributing your message. Am I doing wrong? He says, no, you're giving my bread as I give it to you, my bread must be given freely. And then she says, I read St. Michael's prayer and then read the next one. I read the memoir of St. Bernard, St. Mary, being worried about something when my friends read, read the messages and start thinking again of God, some returning to God and some being happy with hope. Unfortunately, sometimes what happens in their delight to talk about it to a priest friend, he would warn them not to believe it's God. And in fact, I realized myself that out of the four priests here, knowing the writings, two discouraged me and two encouraged me. I would have liked, though, that those that discouraged me and discouraged others, I would have liked them to decide after having read from A to Z. Then, if they still thought it nothing, they should tell me why and explain it. How could one give an opinion without following it and discussing with me not more than once? And then he continues, fill up your heart with God's flame. I love you. She, and she says, Beloved Mother, I fear that God's message might be...